jungle. Hello, sweet angels. How are you? It's great to see you. Our lesson today is about using addition for subtraction, which shows how to use addition to do subtraction. Are you ready? Let's begin. To start with, recall how do we usually do subtraction? For example, how do we find 7 minus 2? We usually draw objects like this, don't we? So, we can find 7 minus 2 equals 5. We can also use the number line to do subtraction like this, can't we? So, we can also find 7 minus 2 equals 5. Now, think. Can we do subtraction without drawing objects or using the number line? Yes, we can. Let me tell you right now. Recall from the last lesson if we have a number bond such as this one we can create a fact family like this look up these number sentences you can see the relation between addition and subtraction can you so, if you are asked to find 7 minus 2, then you can think because 2 plus 5 equals 7. Therefore, 7 minus 2 equals Five. As you can see, we can think addition for subtraction. Let's take another example. If you are asked to find five minus two, then you can think because two plus 3 equals 5. Therefore, 5 minus 2 equals 3. Overall, when you are asked to find 4 minus 1, then you can think the related addition 1 plus what equals 4. If you memorize the addition facts we learned in lesson 6, you can quickly find 1 plus 3 equals 4. Therefore, 4 minus 1 equals 3. If you don't memorize the addition facts, it may take you 
longer. For example, you may have to draw one dot. Then, draw and count on more dots until you get four. Let's draw and count on two, three, four. Look, it needs three more dots to make four. So, one plus three equals four. Therefore, four minus one equals three. As you can see, memorizing the addition facts makes addition so much easier and subtraction a piece of cake accordingly. If you already memorize the addition facts, that's super. If you have not, I strongly advise you to do it right now. Now, let's have some practice. Task 1. Think addition for subtraction, then find the difference. To do this task, pause this video to download and print the worksheet below. Then try to do it on your own. When you finish, replay the video to check the answers with me. Now, let's find the answers together. First, think 2 plus 4 equals 6. So, 6 minus 2 equals 4. Next, think 5 plus 3 equals 8. So, 8 minus 5 equals 3. Next, think 3 plus 4 equals 7. So, 7 minus 3 equals 4. Next, think 4 plus 5 equals 9. So, 9 minus 4 equals 5. Next, think 4 plus 4 equals 8. So, 8 minus 4 equals 4. Next, think 6 plus 1 equals 7. So, 7 minus 6 equals 1. Next, think 3 plus 7 equals 10. So, 10 minus 3 equals 7. The last one. Think 2 plus 6 equals 8. So, 8 minus 2 
equals six. Super! You've finished the lesson. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any question, don't hesitate to put it in the comment box. I'd be happy to answer. Now, goodbye and see you soon.